so so here we go. So now uh, I'm going to try to tell the story because a lot of people don't know what I'm about to say. We, we, we're we riding out all the success, and then the Janet Jackson thing happens. I see it. Justin Timberlake, that moron, pulls her fucking... <laughs> the coolest thing he ever well, did. wouldn't you? The, the coolest thing Justin Timberlake's <laughs> ever done. Fuck his music. Duh. Is pull fucking Janet Jackson's shirt off on, yeah. on the Super Bowl. Yeah. Okay. But then... CBS aired that, which is Viacom, our company, Infinity, Mel goes before Congress, all this shit. Oh, God. Censorship comes down. Now we're getting fined. I'm looking at the fucking fines. 500 grand because Artie made a fart sound. Fred did this. It th- cost him. And how the show's getting cut up. Everybody is under attack. So now I was thinking about leaving radio. And then out of nowhere, Sirius Satellite comes out. A new, a new form of radio, okay? Not terrestrial radio, a pay form, you know, and, and this technology starting to come. So now you're not the only option in the game for a guy like Howard Stern. So it breathes air into him. He signs his legendary Sirius Satellite, uh, you know, yeah. deal. Howard's leaving. The company is all in disarray. First guy he goes to to, 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 to run the station at Sirius because it's going to be ads sold and stuff like that. Tim Sabian. That says a lot about you. Well, that, You're the first you. guy he thank called. It, it, I want Sabian to do it. Well, it was, it, he called me up. Uh, I'll never forget this. And it was both he and Don on the phone. They Don said, Don Buckwell, legendary yeah, agent. Uh, awesome. Yeah, awesome. Also oh, very ni- God, I love him. Very I nice love guy. him. Don was always sweet to yeah, me. Man. And so they called up and said, Would you be interested? I said, Well, first of all, my wife will never move to New York. And, right. uh, you got you know, a life, Dad. Yes, yeah, yeah. and, and I lived in Mike Piazza's house. I right. bought his old house, you know. Right. So I you built... had to take all this gay oh, stuff out of it. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was not gay. But... I had a great lifestyle, and I was going to retire. When Howard left, I was literally going to hang it like up. Like a lot of the guys. So, yeah, so I was like, fuck it. I'll just do something else. So I, I went up there, and I was so fucking jacked and jazzed about what it was. My head wouldn't stop thinking about this, that, and the other thing. And, I, and my wife said to me at the time, she says, we'll do it for five years, and we'll come home. And I'm like, okay, yeah. You know, so I get up there, and it becomes encompassing. I'm literally sleeping on the floor in my it's, office. It's a lot of work. And, and, you know, to because build it. the promise was, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a pay service, but yeah. there were commercials but, on the start. Yeah, I started in September of 2005, and nobody was there except my I, They handed me a budget, and here's the budget, and here's the number in the lower uh, right-hand corner, and, and here's what you have to work with. Now build it out. So right. I exhausted Howard about what he needed because nobody was there, and I had to build this thing out. I built it out. I literally slept inside the fucking office at least two right. nights a week because well, there was so much to do. Yeah, you Got were it there done. a lot. Five, five, hour, five years went by like that, and then Howard resigns. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. So now my marriage goes to fucking hell. Yeah. Uh, you know that was stuff. Uh, ca- sacrifices yeah. are made. And, you know, exactly. And, and nobody, your wife's very yeah. sweet. Yeah. 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 You, you stick with them, right? Yeah. 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 So and then uh, so then uh, you know it was just it, one thing. Got, you know my parents got sick and the, so I literally I went to Howard and I went and took a leave of absence. Yeah. It, it was like you needed time. It, it was it was I've never been through the death of two parents. I've never been well, through it's all, it. Was Life fucking, throws oh, shit at you, man. Oh. Oh. You see Boschetti with his shirt off, flat by accident. That'll stain you. That Super swing. swing. Yeah, yeah. Well, but listen, so one other part of the story I want to say, and this this is a, this is one that hasn't been discussed a lot at all. Okay, so Howard leaves. Stuff's in disarray. He announces a year a year and a half before we take the job. He announces it. So now for a year, we know we're leaving Ra- regular radio, like the tent pole that was the Howard Stern Show is not holding it up anymore. Guys like you are figuring out what your future is, and of course you were lucky. But before Howard makes that call with you, here's how hard your job is. Okay, I get a call from my manager one day. This is about a year before we leave the regular radio. And they say, Tim Sabian called you. They wanted me and Gary Delabate, Baba Booey, to leave Howard. Basically, fuck him over. And, oh, uh, fucking and, assholes. And, 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 and now Tim is the one who has to make this phone call. So, but, but again, being a man, it's America. I have to find out about this offer. So the offer was they wanted to give me $5 million a year, I think, for four years. Which was way more than I was making on Stern, but that's, who cares? That's that dumb uh, fuck Joel Hollander. Right, Joel Hollander. You got that? Joel Hollander. Yeah, yeah, Joel yeah. Hollander. <laughs> yeah. Figures Artie and Gary will produce it for like yeah. a million a year. So it's now, it's, now it's the, not the Howard Stern show, yeah. Artie Lang show, produced by Baba Booey. So they think we're going to defect. Tim has the awful job of, of, of bringing that offer to me. And then, uh, uh, now listen, I immediately said no. Gary immediately uh, said no. I don't give yep. a fuck about the money. I made a lot of money. Howard let me uh. do whatever I wanted. I loved Howard. First of all, if it was if, if Howard was giving me a buck a year, I wouldn't do that to him. And I, it's a bad career move anyway. Uh, but Tim, so so I get this offer to fuck over Howard, and I have to somehow tell Howard. I don't know if I could have done it face-to-face, 
Oh. I'm leaving all this money and guaranteed money, by the way. It would have been 25 million bucks if it, the show lasted a week. And, and then in their brilliant mind, they hired David Lee Roth well, for two weeks. That's what I said. I, I said, I'm the, f I'm getting the fuck. I so remember the call. So to do that. Now, you, you, so describe that. Yeah. What happened? So, so I get the call one day after when Howard announced that he was leaving, uh, all the shit and shenanigans. Shit went, hit I, the fan, and literally. I had it all worked out where I could have hired Preston and Steve in Philadelphia, and but they didn't want to allot the money to do so. The brilliant minds there at the yeah, time. Yeah, and yeah. literally. Uh, <laughs> all and, these and radio then, names, and, Preston and, then, and yeah, Steve. And then, and then Joel Hollander you know, with his shit. He's I don't a even, big guy at the company, uh, Infinity. Yeah. In his own mind. Right. right. Uh, and so, and, and I, I sent Howard, I was going through some files that I had, and I found a deck that I put together to pitch to upper management that, you know, what the value is of Howard and so forth. Yeah. And because it's I, amazing you even have to is, explain that. But, but, but this, this was my MO on how to, and they wanted me to replace it. So, okay, here's what I was going to do. But, but the thing with, with to show what, how I believed in him, yeah. and I said yeah. it to him about maybe a year ago or nine months ago. <coughs> Excuse me. And it, it was just so... Like I believed in that guy, and I would go into markets and set him up in Chicago, and the the management would be like, "Well, we can't sell him with this and that." I said, "Well, then you know what? We got the wrong guy." Because you knew the, the yeah. mid, you knew oh, the Midwest yeah. too. Oh fuck! I, Which be is, yeah. I believed in, in what we were doing and believed in the mission, uh, but uh, there were so many fucking underhanded, dirty fucking things going on. So, then, so you, so so you have to say to me and Gary, "Do you want to do this?" And me and Gary was my and, and, okay. So so uh, you know, the, of course that's not going to work. But then what they do. Is and their infinite wisdom. And again, Joel Hollander, by the way, one of the guys who made the decision after 20 years and Howard making him a billion dollars, uh, here's a bottle of wine. He gave him two bottles of Douche wine. Douchebag. <laughs> I mean, Douchebag. What, what about renting out the garden for yeah. a tribute to him? A bottle of wine. He, he, he says to me one day, I, 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 used to, I used to wear a suit and all that kind of shit, out of respect sure. you know, for, for the well, position and all that kind of thing. Job. It's my yeah. job. Yeah. He walks in and he says, oh, you're the schmuck that wore the suit. I'm like, and he's lucky I didn't get up from uh, my yeah. fucking <laughs> Minnesota and fucking back. Yeah, and I know yeah. you. Yeah. And drop that fuck <laughs> like a, well, you know. Okay. So I wish you would have turned into Joe Patrick that ball. No, but here's, but fuck the wine. Fuck the wine. Here's the bigger issue. They hire, after a nationwide search, to replace Howard Stern on the radio, David Lee Roy. Oh, I got the call. And they They're guarantee him $8 million. I, I, I'll, it's I'm a, like, okay, here's how crazy that is. If Van Halen, Eddie Van Halen and Alex Van Halen went to Howard Stern and said, we're touring the world for three years. You're the new lead singer of Van Halen, Howard Stern. That's less crazy yeah. than me, making David Lee Roth. Let, the, <laughs> the greatest was the morning that they had Billy West on, yeah. or, or Billy, uh, Billy Not, Mira. Uh, Billy oh, yeah, yeah. Barry, yeah. As David Lee Roth, and it was like, yeah. oh, so spot on. That was so actually a joke that he started early. Oh, my God. Yeah. It was yeah. so good. And we it wrote was, all these jokes for him. Uh, but that's how horrifying it was. Who, what, you got to be literally retarded. Retarded yeah. to get the lead singer of Van Halen, yeah. who might be the most annoying person on the planet. I met David Lee Roth, yeah. uh, talented as hell, first incredibly Van Halen, smart man, uh, yeah. and the first Van Halen. Uh, fuck yeah. everybody else. Okay, they're the best, yeah. but. That is like making Howard the lead singer of Van Halen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, I mean, that, that, that's what it's like. It, so that lasts two weeks, and then they got to pay him. Yeah, that, well, I the think thing it was, I wanted, I wanted to get out. I literally, it, 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 Howard and Don, when they called, was literally like a godsend. And I really, I didn't know if I wanted to continue with okay, doing this anymore. Right. Okay, here's here's okay the other part of the story. Okay, so all that shit happens. Me and Gary say no. Timmy is like, you know, whatever. We got we got to move on. The smoke clears. Howard obviously l loves you, calls you. So now we all end up at Sirius, okay? 2006 comes, okay? Tim's with us, running the station, doing the ads because you decide to make this decision. Your wife, five years, all this. Okay, uh, me and Gary say no to that stupid deal. We come, Freddie's there, Rob, and the whole gang is there. Now we're at Sirius Satellite Radio. Okay, describe that time because a lot of people say to me, that's the best radio in the history of radio. It, but those it, first four years. Because if we had uncensored, it was fucking a blast. There, let me tell you something. There was a story. When I was a kid, and I would radio was my thing. I just couldn't get enough of it. And there was a station in St. Paul, Minnesota, KSTP, uh, AM, I think it was. Yeah, 1500 KSTP, and run by Chuck Knapp. Yeah. And he had, it was Chuck. Chuck, Chuck take a nap. Chuck, <laughs> Chuck Knapp and d Knapp and Donuts in the morning. It was uh, Machine Gun. <laughs> Knapp and Donuts no, in the no, morning. But, but Machine Gun Kelly in the afternoon, smoking. <laughs> Joe Hager at night, well, everybody it, from it, it, the everybody, Cat Man. Everybody from Alcatraz. Yeah, no, it was like the Cat Man. But he, the, the point is that he casted this thing with all these characters, yeah. and it was so incredible. Then my dad takes me to L.A., and we visit the great KHJ, one of the great legendary... Legendary with, stations. With, 
uh, like with, a BCN, a YSP. Exactly, yeah, with, yeah. With, with the real Don Steele, Mother Love, and all this kind of the stuff. And I, and, 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 and I was like fucking in my glory. And I thought, what? this is my opportunity to do that kind of radio. And that's what we did with the Howard World. We created an environment, an ecosystem right. that was so unique, so compelling, so just unbelievably powerful. And I'll tell you a story. We launched the, and I was literally, I was, I probably slept a, a, a total of two hours a night for the f September, October, November, December. Right. And then when we first launched it, wow. uh, Howard and I were on the phone. Crazy. Uh, I remember that New Year's Eve <laughs> from midnight to about four in the morning. Talking. No, you're 05 going to go six. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about because he could finally go on the air now. I was and, in Turks and Caicos with my <laughs> girlfriend. We, we, yeah. we did Shell's. New Year's Eve party at his house. But yeah. this is our thing. Don't but, pay no attention. So, to so listen so, to this. So, <laughs> so now we launched the channels. We, 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 we had Howard 100, Howard 101, <laughs> and they were cooking along and this and that. Even I. There's I, two channels you got to yeah, run, yeah, but you know. Yeah. I hired this guy out of, out of uh, Australia uh, it, who was fucking brilliant. He's one of the most greatest producers. It, it was like, uh, yeah. it, it, it was like this guy was, I, I kept an eye on this guy for so many years because he was brilliant and he was so unique. And I wanted to hire the most powerful the biggest, the best, the most unique people I could get. And we put this thing together. We did it with the heartbeats and the launch of the thing. Yeah, and right. the heartbeats got faster as the got, got time to launch the yeah, channels. Yeah. So we launched the channels and about a month into it, Howard calls me from the car. And I'll never forget this call as long <laughs> as I live. He says, Tim. I've had a few of these. He says, he says Tim, I'm going to tell you something. He said, I'm listening to these channels, and it's better than I ever, ever yeah, even expected. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Or, and I literally almost, I, I, I get welled up now just thinking about yeah. it. It was so, it was one Look at how into it, Timmy. No, but no, like, I mean, it's, that's it's a real like, thing. No, but it's going to fucking cry. But it's, no, but it's, it's, but it's, it's so poignant. It, no, it, it was like, that was worth any fucking, uh, keep the paycheck. That was it of right course. there. Howard laughing at shit I did on the radio and telling me I was funny is, uh, I, you keep your Oscars. That, yep. As a comedian, that's yep. what I want. And yep. In your world, that's what that is. Exactly. And and and, and, and so, I never got a fucking, award. I've been doing this for all my life. I never got one goddamn award. Oh, Not on. even a cup of coffee. Oh, come on. I swear to God. Uh, they're, they're giving, uh, you know, awards. I don't want one. They're giving awards to fucking the, the dumb fucking asshole show. But, exactly. And Howard Sturgeon. I mean, because of, because of jealousy, because Howard didn't play by the rules. I, I, and I never played and the Howard game. Never played Played the game yeah. either, no. and that's why I love the Men Outlaw. Yeah. Yeah. He, I, when I did the show, when you guys brought me in, Ralph, it's known as the Ralph, worst show ever. His hairdresser called in to heckle me. <laughs> yeah. right? Well, he did that with everybody. No, no, he said, "I don't like this guy. It's funny." You know what Howard said to him? He's hanging with us. Leave him the fuck alone, Ralph. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I pushed that yeah. mic on the on yeah. the phone. Yeah. And Ralph is what's the word? Oh, an asshole. Ralph is good. Yeah, whatever, whatever. We all have our different.